I'm going to be talking about how to build a streaming service in 2023. Today, we're going to be talking about Brightcove versus Tuto. This is a series where you can be building your own brand online, and this is one of the streams of income you can be looking at, building your own streaming service. No matter what kind of brand you're trying to use, owning your own space, taking it off of social media, that's the key. So let's review Bright Cove and Tuto. Now there's a lot of ground to cover, but we're going to narrow in the focus, talking about features, pricing, and if you wanna know more about this or if this is interesting, let me know in the comment section down below what your questions are about both platforms. Now, Bright Cove is the world's most trusted streaming technology company. And you can do a lot with this platform and a lot of people are using it. Uh, you can make sure that you're talking to your audience. You can monetize your content, you can sell products, and we see some of the brands that they've worked with. So you could be using this as a creator in your own brand, or some people are using this for internal use for their company, and the list goes on and on. Now. What we're going to also look at is Tuto, where you can build your own streaming platform, and it can be similar to Amazon Prime or Disney Plus or anything like that. Now, some of the features we're going to look at, if you want to know more in depth, let me know in the comment section down below. But let's just get out of the way and we'll talk about pricing. A lot of people care about this on the channel. How much is it going to cost me? Well, to try to find out the pricing for a uh, uh, Bright Cove, it's kind of hard. In fact, to get the pricing, I would have to get on a call and everything like that. And ain't nobody got time for that. And Dub did it for us. So the last time Dub looked at it, shout out to Dub, another platform that we like to use. Um, Bright Cove starts at about $199 a month, and it's going to be around $2,400 a year. And that's at their starter plan. Now, again, the prices have could have changed or gone up, most likely, from the last time they did this, but you're going to be an all-in of $2,400 uh, a year or $199 a month. And to and that really depends if you're with a small team and depending on how, much, how many hours people are watching, um, because then it's going to change on how many users and you're going to be charged more. So it mentions uh, hosting 50 to 200 videos uh, with a maximum of 100,000 video plays. And this allows two to five users and is ideal for small and medium sized businesses. Again, probably for internal use or something like that to consider. Also, to go to the professional plan, we're looking at professional plans also at $500 a month, which would be $600 all in and be for a larger team that supports up to 10 users. And it mentions upload unlimited videos and have more than 100,000 video plays. I wonder if they're going to be charging you how many total minutes per month as well. Uh, but that's something to consider, right? So you're looking at $199 uh, for the small plan or uh, $500 a month. Now, let's look at to Utah what you could be doing. If you're just getting started in your creator and you're building up your brand and you don't have a large audience, you can actually start for free with to Utah. And there's a link down below. I tell people all the time, uh, if you like this, you want to try it out, I have an affiliate link down below. I'm honest with it. And again, all these videos, you can decide for yourself. You can use whatever, you screen, whatever. Uh, but this is why we're having this. So, And if you don't want to use it and you just want to type in the URL and not support the channel, that's fine too. This is totally for you. So for Tuto, it starts for free. And uh, it's storage, it's five hours. It's delivery time of 10 hours a month, and you can do one hour of live streaming. Now, this is what's really interesting. Some people might be like, but Doc, what does this mean it has core by to Uto? Say, for instance, you don't want to um, use to Uto as the platform, but you want to have your own. You just want to, um, you want the API. You want the deliverability of the technology. You just want to host it and deliver it using your own tech stack. Core by to you Tuto allows you to do that. So say, for instance, you're like, I don't want to be attached to anything. I don't want to you to shut me down possibly or yada, yada, yada. I want more freedom to how I want my site to look, all of these things. You can be just using the API. And so Tuto API can then allow you to have greater freedom and have access to their API documentation. Um, bottom line, if you have a team and you want to customize your own platform, this is what it's for. If you're saying, Doc, I am not technical. I don't want to deal with it. Just stick with Tuto. You're going to be able to do everything uh, that you want to be able to do. In fact, if you're looking at one of our platforms, we're going to be using Tuto 
to build out our app and everything like that. So the bottom line, you can start for free. Then you can scale up depending on what's going on with your business. And by the way, unlike Uscreen, they're not charging you per subscriber, uh, subscriber as well. Uh, Uscreen at the time of this recording, they're taking 50 cents per subscriber plus the transaction fee. Um, so there's keep that in mind. So the subscriber, and then you got to look at your other transaction fees if you're using Stripe and all those things. We'll get into that later if you care about it. But the essential package, if you're looking at 50 hours, delivery of 500 hours, live streaming, you can go up to 10 hours of live streaming. You can do all of those things. It's $99 a month. That is, if you get yearly, that's um, 20% off. It's $199 if you're doing monthly. Uh, you can have access to live streaming chat, coupons, gift cards, connect to a custom do domain, custom page. You can use custom CSS and HTML. You can do all of that with one nine, oh, for $99 a month if you do it for the whole year. Um, the premium, now you're going to be able to scale up on your storage. Your delivery goes up to 2,000 hours. Your live streaming goes to 24 hour, 25 hours a month. You can go to 4K, um, 20 gig per video. You can have courses, multi-language, bio, uh, geo lock, uh, excuse me, geo locking, live streaming, instant polls. You can have the video pre-roll ads. So that's allowing you to, again, have more ads on your content. So you can be making revenue that stream as well. You can have web hooks off, you have the removing the Chiuto uh, powered by so people won't see it. And then also they allow you to have free migration of whatever you're using. They'll mi migrate this over for you for free. So that is just some of the differences. Uh, again, Brightcove could be used for internal uses. If a lot of people are going to be using it for a company, that might be good for you. It depends on what your use case is. But also, too, looking at the cost analysis of what's going to be happening, look at what um, Brightcove is going to be able to deliver. And if people want me to do a more deep dive into Brightcove of the exact features that, um, that they have, let me know. And of course, you can visit their site down below as well. Um, and then compare it to platforms like Toyota or whatever you want to use. Look at the functionality and what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish with your brand, and then go from here. Again, the reason I like Toyota is you can be starting for free as you're scaling up your brand. You can see if you like it. And then as you're growing, you can be growing with this platform. And again, I really like that I have control if I want to of having core by Tuyuto so I can bring that API, I can bring it on to my own tech stack and really be able to build whatever if I wanted to. And I wouldn't have to deal with if I'm going to do Google Cloud Platform, AWS, and try to build it out from there. If you're not familiar with those platforms, AWS, that's how Netflix delivers their content. It's built on AWS, Amazon Web Services. But it is very complicated structuring out uh, that infrastructure as a service. You have to have a developer on staff to be able to, first of all, structure the environment, then continue to keep it you know, updated, make sure it doesn't crash, all those things. Tuto is doing all that stuff for you. They're just giving you the endpoint by using APIs. If you want to know more about APIs, about all these different verses, we have a whole playlist about all the different streaming services we've reviewed over the last three years. If you want to know about APIs, there's going to be a link down below to know what I'm talking about if you care about it. But if you say, hey, doc, I want to just build my own streaming service. I don't want to know all the technicals. I want to control it by myself or a small team. Tuto is a great option for you. In the comment section down below, let me know what you think. If you like videos like this, if you want me to talk about more about this and about our streaming service that we're building uh, in, in this year and what we're going to be doing in the future, let me know. And if you like this kind of content, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.